Hello, my name is Douglas Wienerman. It's not, but uh, this is a progress report on my Super Mario World 3D project. I'm making this video against my will because the project still has bugs in it, but my friends insist that I do not need to make perfection to make progress. So, without further ado, here is my progress report. The biggest hurdle with this project was definitely Mario's movement. I'd give that a rough estimate of taking up 60 to 80% of the development time, just trying to get Mario's moving as accurate to the source material as possible. And for, for the first half, I guess, of the project, I was using Unreal's default character movement controller, which works in something akin to real world physics. It's very accurate, it's got a lot of numbers and sliders that eventually I realized oh, I don't need all this because Mario moves with Yahoo physics. And, and I was trying to finagle the real world physics to work with Wahoo Yippee physics. And eventually I just realized it would be easier, better, and more accurate as I went on to, to just replace all of the movement that Unreal provided with my own movement. Uh, and so, yeah, that has issues with jumping and sliding and slopes, but his on the ground and in the air movement, I don't know how it looks to those who haven't seen what it used to look like, but when I switched from the Unreal default movement to, to the Wahoo Yippee movement, it was like night and day. It was like, oh my god, this is Mario. I'm controlling Mario now. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's what I gotta say about that. Hey team, Doug here to explain why Mario is having trouble standing on these blocks. That is a side effect of hasty bug fixing. The collision for the block was interfering with the shell hitbox, so that was causing inconsistencies with getting the one up, so I said, oh, I don't think I actually need this collision, and I turned it off. Little did I know, I did need that collision. Anywho, on with the video. Sure does feel like we've been on the screen for a while. Well, this is yet another side effect from hasty bug fixing. I messed up the level transition from time up slash game over. But while I've got your attention, I would like to share with you what a busted spawn has looked like for most of the duration of this project. That is Mario spawning at coordinates 0, 0, 0. This is the busted spawn that I got for the very first time while recording this video. Here you can see me going through the first stage of bug fixing. Denial. I have no idea what causes this. I have an idea of what causes many of the bugs in my project. Not this one. 
here I, I'm trying doing the tried and true bug testing method of doing nothing and trying over and over again. Uh, and no, that doesn't work. So this is a recording from after I went through, fixed the bug there. I got some uh, good results. So yeah, letting the video play now. Oh, you idiot! You fool! You buffoon! You thought that just because the bug didn't show up one time, the problem was fixed? No! No! No, the bugs stay. The bugs remain. You will always be fighting bugs. You will always be battling errors. It's a never-ending battle. No, no, but actually it is fixed. It is working. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. In all seriousness, you will not be fighting bugs forever. Programming is not arcane magic, and bugs are not mysterious demons. It is logic and hiccups in the logic. If you follow your code, and you follow your logic, and you, you take a deep breath, you calm down, and you think it through, you'll find your bugs. And if you take even more deep breaths, and you think it through some more, you'll find a way to fix them. I'm gonna do one last run here to show what it looks like when you hit the gold tape, but while I'm doing so, thank you very much for watching this. This adventure has been a lot, a lot of work, and a lot of learning. And I'm going to do a much larger breakdown on all the things I did and the processes behind them, but until then, the wisdom that I shall leave you with is make games, make mistakes, because the best way to learn how to program and write good code is cleaning up your own bad code. Thank you and good night or good morning. It's 6 a.m. when I'm recording this.